So this is, this is exactly what we have with Islam. Yes, you can talk about God, you can talk about worshiping, but how about violence against people like me? How about violence against Christians and Jews? You are, you are ordered to wage war against them. That's what happened to my ancestors in Morocco. Berbers, they were Christians, they were executed, they were enslaved. That's what happened to people in Egypt, in Iraq, in Syria, and even in Europe. How about that? How about um, uh, people who, uh, for example, uh, against women, Islam against women. My mom was beaten my Imam dad. When I asked him why, he said, it's in the Quran. You cannot object to that. They cannot object to it. It's in the Quran. It should be applied. It's a permission for men to beat his wife. It's in the Quran. It's the word of Allah himself. Uh, again, when I studied the life of Muhammad, in 10 years, he waged 83 wars in 10 years, 27 wars and 56 raids in 10 years. And you are going to teach me that Islam is peaceful? No, it's not peaceful. Are you going to give a Nobel Prize for somebody who waged 83 wars? No, you will not. And, and another thing, Muhammad is not a role model. Jesus is. When we say in the next life there is only Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is no other God, I'm not judging. I'm not being offensive to other people who do not believe in Jesus Christ as God. No, I am simply stating the truth. Now, it's up to you. I'm not attacking, I'm not judging, I'm not discriminating, I'm not differentiating. I'm simply stating the truth which I have witnessed with my own very eyes. Period. You, you will not see anyone else. My beloved Muslim, you will not see Muhammad. I am so sorry. Believe me, I am sorry. I wish I could make you happy, but you will not. Believe me, you will not. Believe me, you will not. You will see one and one only waiting at the gate of heaven, who is the gate of heaven. He is the gate of heaven. He is heaven itself. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. All glory to his holy and mighty name.